Hi everybody, it's Tom Cole here, and we're uh, going to do another version of our Sunday concert series. And I think uh, Mike Dagger he was calling it the uh, the Cabin Fever concerts, and so we're uh, all in our respective basements, and and uh, Mike Daggert actually is in Cold Lake right now, and uh, uh, we've got. Uh, Bo Hughes in Salmon Arm, Southern BC, and we have uh, Jim McLennan, and he's uh, in uh, Okotoks, Southern Alberta, and, and I'm in Charlie Lake, and just north of here, and we're up in Northern BC, so just north of here is uh, 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 an area where I grew up, it's called Montney, and uh, when I was a kid, there was these old cowboys that would hang around and uh, my dad and they they uh, would talk about when they were young fellows like in the depression years when they would catch wild horses out in Montney and uh, break them and sell them so I thought that was such a cool story I wanted to write that down and uh, so uh, so to explain it just a little bit like they had no brands because these horses were running wild they had no owners so their sides were slick their their hair was slick because there was no brands on them so the old timers called them the slick ones <laughs> Duffel in your saddle bags, your fall coat in your robe. Heading out to Monty Creek, we'll camp out on the slopes. The wild ones graze up on the ridge, so we'll move in from the flats. Box them in the coulee, and we'll pull our lariats. Rounding up the slick ones, put them in. Fire wit, the southern drawl is coming north in the fall. He says he's gonna take them all. The rain ain't broke, the feet ain't right. You know they'll never sell. Breaking horses in Monty Creek down by the wild horse track. We'll leer down the rank ones, put our saddles on the backs. Tarp them out and brand them, pull the halter shame. Trim their hooves and cut their hair, that's money in the bank. Rounding up the slick ones, put them in a rope corral. A buyer with a southern drawl is coming north in the fall. He says he's gonna take them all. They ain't broke, the weed ain't bright. They'll never sell A buyer with a southern drawl is coming north in the fall He says he's gonna take them all But they ain't broke, the feet ain't right No, they'll never sell Rounding up the slick ones There, yeah, nice, nice. So we we have a, a darn big treat, actually. Uh, a good friend of ours, uh, Megan McKenzie is uh, going to join us and Megan's sitting in Whitehorse right now in the Yukon and uh, uh, Megan can can you hear me yeah can you hear me yes there I can I can so 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 every so we always think of the the Yukon as being like uh, full-time winter is it, uh, is it is it winter up there right now still 
yeah, at the moment. But the sun came out today, so that was the the which sorry. The sun. The sun. Was, okay. So the so do you still have snow there? Oh yeah. Yeah. How much? Uh, deep enough to go over your boots. I found that out today. <laughs> oh, so that's actually not a lot different than than here. Actually, the uh, so, good stuff. So, um, Megan, you have uh, a, a CD called Quarter Section. It's one of my favorite CDs, and um, so so you can you can pick that up on iTunes. I know, and I'll I'll put a link actually with when I post the video. I'll I'll throw a link there so that you could go to iTunes. I want to make mention that that uh, my stuff will be there. I'll put a link for my stuff too. But uh, but Megan, you and your actual CDs, if they do like a Facebook, um, if they contact you on Facebook or something, you, they'd be able to purchase an actual physical CD. You'd you'd be able to mail it to them. Yeah, for sure. I got a whole bunch. Okay, great. Already, um, well, I, I'm thinking, take it away uh, any any time you're you're ready. Okay, sounds good. <clears throat> Nice, Megan. Thank you. And uh, so, and look for that link where you can pick up Megan's CD there. So, the other day, uh, I was at the, the post office, went and got the mail, and um, there was a, a fella in the parking lot pulled in with a big trailer load of bales. And uh, um, 
So I, I just happened to men I said to him there, I said, geez, are you out of feed already or having to haul feed in? And uh, he said, yeah, he said, my brother-in-law sent me to pick up a dozen round bales. So here, here I am. And, and I, I just happened to be looking. And I said, well, there's, there's 13 on that load. And, uh, and I swear he turned around and he said, dang it, I must have lost one. So, so here's, a, here's a song that came out in 1960. And it was, uh, it was on the pop charts for nine months straight. And uh, so uh, pretty good. So you probably know this song and you can sing along at home there. So, <clears throat> On the wings of a snow white Dove. He sends his pure, sweet love, the sign from above. On the wings of a dove, when Noah had drifted on the flood many days, he searched for land. He had some, but he wasn't forgotten. He sent down his love on the wings of a dove, on the wings of a snow white dove. He sends his pure, sweet love, the sign from above. When troubles surround us, when evils come, the body grows weak, the spirit grows numb. When these things beset us, he doesn't forget us. God sends down his love. Of a dove on the wings of a snow white dove, he sends his pure, sweet love, the sign from above. On the wings of a dove, now sing it out. On the wings of a snow white dove, he sends his pure, sweet love. The sign from above on the wings of a dove. Well, that was super fun. Thank you again for watching. And uh, uh, stay safe out there and stay healthy. We'll see you soon.